welcome to Scrapping with Sherry and happy few days after Halloween. In honor of Halloween this past week, I wanted to design a couple of pages with a Halloween kind of theme and I'm going to use the Booyah designer paper pack and stickers. Now this was not a whole big collection, the paper pack and stickers and then there were a couple of tools that came out. But in looking at this page, I think it's going to be a really easy one. You know, famous last words. I have actually used several of the pieces of this pack already. So I was looking at what I had and I do want to make this a two page spread. So I was thinking about pulling these for my background papers. It's got some cute designs on the back, but that's really, really busy to me. So these are my two papers that I'm going to use for the background. And I really liked these. I have these left over. And I've still got some more of that dotted, which I really, really like. And some more of this. I've used one sheet minus this much of them. These are not my very favorites. They're cute, but just not my favorites in the pack. The little ghosties are cute. The stars are cute. But these are the ones I'm going with for this particular layout. The stickers are also adorable. And we'll be seeing if we can pull some of those in when we get this thing laid out. Now, I feel like all I'm going to need is my 12-inch trimmer for this. So, I've got my backgrounds. And basically, we've got a place for 3x4 photos through the center. We've got mats for 6x4 photos here and here. And then we've got some decorative elements here and here. Now, if you're worried about cutting these ovals, I'm not cutting those ovals. Um, it's not really an oval, but I'm not cutting this scallop shape here. This was actually on a mat card, and I'm not going to mimic that part. I'm just going to use my designs to do that part. So, let's start with, we've got this three, three by three photo area here. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of black paper down there to give me that spacing to help me remember that's what's going there. So, I'm just going to cut um, two, three by... 12 square uh, rectangles, three by 12 rectangles. That seems awfully small, but if you're like me, you get lots of little Halloween pictures that you don't really know what to do with. And this is a good opportunity to stick them in. What happens if you don't have photos to go in every one? Great place to embellish. I'm also looking at for our photos, we need something big enough for six by four. And what they've done is make that four and a half by six and a half. So I'm gonna cut my four and a half here. But instead of making it six and a half, I'm just gonna do the six because that gives me perfect use of this paper. And that's going to be enough for one page, but I need to pull one more black. And I'll do this one again, the four and a half. Now, if you've been following along with me, you know that I'm not real worried about the sizing of my pictures because I'm going to print them myself anyway. So that doesn't end up being a big deal to me anymore. All right, so we've got all of the photo spots done. Now let's go back and cut the little decorative boxes. This is three and a half by four and a half. The three and a half is the width. So I'm just gonna pop that in. And the four and a half is the height. With a designer paper like this with lots of decoration, you might wanna look at what you're leaving, what you're cutting off. That one was plenty busy enough that it was not a problem. And the same for the other side, three and a half by four and a half. And then to do a two page spread, I'm gonna need two more of those. So I'm gonna be using this other paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut both of these at the same time. And go to three and a half first. By the four and a half. All right, 
pieces. So all the pieces are cut. Now it's just a matter of taping all of it down. Does it get much easier than that? Now these black ones I'm sticking through the center. Those are remind, reminding me where my photos are going to go. Let me just lay out this one side first. I'm referring to my sketchbook here. I need that there and another photo map here. And if you refer to the sketch, what you'll see is the edge of this pretty much lines up with the edge of that. I'm trying to get my spacing kind of the same side to side. Might need to go over just a little bit more. And look how cute that is. Once we add those photos on, this is going to be absolutely adorable. Now, to make it look put together but a little bit different, I'm going to alternate. Let's turn those pumpkins right side up. They're both that direction. I'm going to alternate that. Just to give me something a little bit different there. And let's type all these pieces down. And really all I'm having to do here is to line it up against the top edge of the page. If I cut all of my measurements correctly, this should take exactly the whole page top to bottom. It should be butted up against each other all the way down. I'm already thinking this is such a cute layout. This would be cute for a lot of themes because you could get a lot of smaller pictures on this page. Or if you didn't have a lot of little bitties, you could always cut some long, thin ones if you've got top and bottom that you could crop off. So, I think a lot to do with this page. Particularly this layout. Alright, I've got a little hanging off the bottom. Remember, paper doesn't have to be exactly 12 by 12 to meet industry standards. Very frustrating for those of us who like everything to work exactly. But occasionally you have to chop off just a little bit to make everything fit. I just love the way it all matches up just exactly. That is really exciting to me. And I'm eyeballing this line here. That doesn't have to be exact. If that bothers you, pull out your ruler. Probably will bother me more on that side than this side. It does help, too, that I've got this plaid design going on here. Because that is also giving me a pretty good visual for lining some things up. But again, it doesn't have to be exact. Now let's just flip and trim this little excess. You see how that um, paper is just a little bit too long along the bottom there. If you were with me on the last video, I had to replace my blade and now I don't have my good cutting line to help me know exactly where this is gonna cut. I'm also, oh, I see what's going on here. I couldn't get it lined up because this black is hanging on the outside edge a little bit. It just feels like everything is a little wonky on this page, but we're going to make that work. All right. Let's see if we can do the same to this side. Having to have reestablished that cutting line. Okay, here we go. So I love the ease of this. I love that it's just very classy looking. The only thing we've got left to do is to add some embellishment. And if we look, they've added a title block here, a couple of embellishments here and here, and then something up here. I wanna look at the stickers I've got. 
I did have a long strip left. We don't really need it on this page, but I do want to add some title-y kind of things. We've got Halloween Party. That's a fun one. These stickers are um, kind of glowy, too. They're holographic. I'm not sure if they glow in the dark or not. I don't want to turn the camera off to test them, but they look like they might glow in the dark. And I am going to add this Halloween party right up here. Are we having a Halloween party? Do you have Halloween parties? See how cute that is? And then something else. Trick or treat, that would be a good one. Again, because these are stickers, I'm adding several foam squares. And the stickers are sticking to me. Let's see, I could add that here. Kind of like that. And with it being on foam squares, it's still up, so I could slide a photo underneath if I needed to. Let's see what else we got. I don't necessarily want to add tons of stuff to it, particularly before I get the pictures on there. But, that little pumpkin is cute. So we'll get all the decorating done and then we'll go back and look at our photos and see what we've got. I just wanna show you that it's easy enough to do pages ahead of time and then go back and add your photos. I know that freaks some people out, but I just think it's such a fun way to do your pages. And then when you're in a decorative mood, you can design pages and then go back and do pictures later. And I promise you, this is not something I've always done. I always thought that it was crazy to do things in advance like this, but it's really working for me and I'm getting a lot more pages done because sometimes I don't wanna deal with the pictures. I just wanna do the embellishments. Sometimes I don't wanna do, do the decorating. I just wanna put the pictures on. So there we are for now. Now let's look at adding pictures. So rather than taking you step-by-step step through printing the pictures and trimming the pictures and all that, I just went ahead and did these pages and finished them up with the pictures. I forgot to stick that one down, but you know I'm printing these myself on my Epson PM400. I was able to print these a little bit smaller than four by six so I could leave the white border attached, which I really like. These I printed, well, this one I didn't. I printed these as two and a half so I could leave a little border and make it two and three quarters. The original sketch called for three by three pictures through here, but I like the white border. I like that it stands out. This one I printed as a collage picture. This was a retreat that I had, and I told my friends that I would not put it on YouTube because we all looked horrible. I am putting it on here. They're probably gonna be frustrated with me, but we all looked horrible and I developed it really, really small so you can't really see us and I'll just lay that right over there. But instead of making separate pages for all of these events, I just titled this Halloween Week and told what all we did Halloween Week, just in a snapshot. It didn't take a lot, um, but I was able to get one event, two, three, four, five, six, seven events on this page just by cutting the pictures down and journaling once. Some of these I will go back and do a little more with, um, particularly this one because there are lots of pictures from that farm trip, but I love the way that I tied it all in using the Halloween theme, and these are all events from Halloween week. So that was a really easy sketch. It's page 97 in the sketchbook. And until I see you next time, happy Halloween and happy scrapping.